There are many different reasons an external drive may not show up normally on your computer. If this happened to you and the data on that device is important, there are a few things you should know in order to have the best chances of getting it back. This video is mostly to help those individuals with important data on their drive better understand their situation. This information is intended to help you learn the potential causes and then truly know the proper procedure in safely getting your data off that drive. There are a few troubleshooting tips included in this video that may help you get back up and running quickly. However, if the data on your drive is worth $400 or more, this video will definitely help you make the right decisions in the process of trying to get it back. When a drive is not recognized by your computer, there are many things that could be the culprit. However, the reasons basically boil down to two categories. Number one, something very obvious and simple. Or number two, something seriously wrong with the hard drive that is going to require expert help. So our goal here is to basically help you quickly and safely troubleshoot the condition of your device and figure out which category you are in. One thing to remember is that all hard drives fail eventually. Hard drives begin failing from the moment you power them up and start writing data to the platters. It's kind of like a set of tires. You pop them on, they're new. As soon as you start driving, they're wearing down. And eventually, they're going to run out of tread. And then you're going to have to replace them. So don't be surprised if, in fact, your drive is the problem. Many brand new hard drives come from the factory with errors on them. These errors come in the form of failed sectors. Bad sectors are recorded and remapped in a part of the drive's microcode which is usually written to the platter called the service area. Inside the service area is microcode which are little software packets that contain data imperative to things like the regular function of the hard drive, uh, repairing the hard drive, error reporting, initialization data, uh, hard drive data, uh, bad sector rerouting, encryption, repairing the drive, and many many more uh, like the service area location, addresses, LBAs, and things like that. All of these packets are usually written to the actual platters themselves. Some manufacturers and drive models write copies on multiple platters and some only on one under head zero or underneath the first platter on the bottom. And some actually write them on the chips on the PCB board. This helps the drive operate properly and ensures stability during the reading writing process and overall function of the drive. If the heads cannot read this area, if there are damaged sectors, scratches on the surface, if it's corrupted or overwritten without a backup, the data will not be accessible. If enough of the service area data is destroyed or remains inaccessible, it will become impossible to recover the files from the hard drive. When there are too many errors, it will corrupt the firmware, leaving it in an unrecognizable state. This isn't the case when it comes to flash storage media like flash drives, SSDs, and camera cards. They have their own issues when they are not being recognized by the computer, However, it's usually due to failure or corruption of the device's controller chip. Based on my experience with computer repair and data recovery, more times than not, the device itself is usually the cause of the issue. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, but the best way to avoid the pain and suffering of this particular situation is, of course, to make sure you have a good, solid backup plan in place. If you need help with one, give us a call for a free consultation. So let's get to the troubleshooting part. The first thing we need to do is discover whether the problem is with your hard drive or your computer. We need to do this quickly and as cautiously as possible in case it is actually your hard drive that is the problem. Why quickly and cautiously? Because when a hard drive powers on, at the bare minimum the platters inside are turning at 5400 rotations per minute. If there is something wrong with your drive, the problem can get worse with every rotation those platters make. No matter what anyone tells you, believe that there is a point of no return with hard drives. Some hard drives do become unrecoverable no matter how much you're willing to spend or what company you go with. Any data recovery expert will tell you the first attempt at data recovery on a hard drive is always the best chance of getting the data back. 
each personal family friend and IT department's effort to get the hard drive to recognize is wearing it down even more. This usually makes the situation worse. Every attempt after that, the chances go down drastically. So we need to know if the drive is not recognizing because of a software, computer, or a hard drive issue. I'll go over a few common issues and steps you can take to get to the bottom of your problem. I can accept no responsibility for the outcomes of your situation. However, I will say with confidence, you should learn what steps to take and choices to make when deciding how to get your data off your storage device when your computer is not recognizing it. First, you must understand why the drive is not being recognized. There's a few ways to do this without special equipment that are simple enough for you to do on your own. You don't have to be a computer expert to do what we call deductive reasoning. You know, if A equals B and B equals C plus 1, then A also equals C plus 1. Pretty simple, I know, but you would be surprised how many people make it complicated. Normally, people skip right over the first step, trying to figure out why it's having the problem it's having. Mostly people guess, they search online, or simply ask companies who have no idea what they're talking about. So let's find out if it's the computer or your drive. A few things to remember. We don't know if the drive is failing, so we need to be as careful and intentional as possible. During any of the procedures I'm about to cover, always keep an ear out for any sounds the drive is making. There is a healthy sound and an unhealthy sound. Healthy sounds are whirring that shouldn't be too loud. Unhealthy sounds are pretty much anything else in the family of clicking, beeping, scraping, ticking, knocking, or a motor that spins and stops repeatedly during initial startup. If you hear any unhealthy signs, stop immediately. Power down your hard drive and call us or another professional recovery company. So here's a few troubleshooting techniques to try. Repower the computer. Many times this has fixed the immediate issue. However, it doesn't preclude a more serious problem on the horizon. So if it works, immediately back up your data just to be safe. You can check all the cables, usually the SATA cables or the ID cables or the SAS or whatever kind of cables you're using. Check them, even replace them, uh, or if it's a USB cable uh, for an external drive, replace that or try a different one. Number three is you can try to slave the drive to another computer. Uh, make sure to always handle the drives with care. Imagine your drive is an egg and treat it that way when you move it or set it down. Slaving the drive to another computer means simply just hooking it up to another computer using an external device, either a docking station or a cable that will allow you to give it power as well as connect it through IDE or SATA. Uh, four is check the power cable. Uh, both of these cables can be easily checked with another identical one. Uh, for the power cable, make sure to use the proper voltage. Number five is you can check the BIOS settings. Sometimes the BIOS settings can cause a device to not be detected or recognized during installation or through regular operation. Please refer to your motherboard documentation to check these settings. This is usually rare. Number six, is your computer infected? Now this can be a tricky one as both an infection and a failing hard drive can cause the computer to act in a similar way. It's important at this time to trace back what's been happening to the computer over the last few days or weeks before the drive became not recognized. In other words, you know, how is it performing? Slow computers, folders and files that freeze when opening them, blue screens are all typical signs of both a failing hard drive and an infection. If you're infected, you should be able to be detected on another computer without a problem. Did your file system get corrupted would be number seven. This can happen from a power outage or if your computer shuts down unexpectedly. Uh, in this case, your drive should be recognized by another computer. If after checking all these details and your drive is still not recognizing or being detected, then you are probably going to need professional help to get your data back. If your drive is not making any bad noises and is smooth and whirring, you still could have a serious issue that will most likely require special equipment and knowledge to get your data off your drive. You can rest assured 
you either have a mechanical failure, corrupt microcode, failing heads, or some other problem. It's best to turn off your device in order to preserve the integrity of the drive and the data on it until someone with the right equipment and experience can help you.